This is the British Museum. The museum houses over 73,000 archaeological and contemporary materials from across the continent. But that's not the story. The story today is about 4,000 of the precious species sitting in this museum that belongs to Nigeria and were stolen in 1897 when British troops invaded the Kingdom of Benin. The British Museum in London is filled from top to bottom with these prized treasures. The most prominent amongst these artifacts is the carved ivory pendant mask of the first Queen Mother of Benin Kingdom, Queen Idia. Many campaigns have been held for the return of most of these cultural heritages since Nigeria gained independence in 1960. In 2018, Britain agreed to loan some bronze plates back to a yet-to-be-built royal museum in Benin for an exhibition within a space of three years. Apart from the call for the artifacts to be returned, other countries like Turkey and Greece have held campaigns in the past for the return of their cultural assets. Greece has been in dispute with Britain asking it to return the marble statue that was removed from the Panthenon in Athens by Lord Elgin. The marble was sold to the British government in 1816 to become the centerpiece of the museum. Before his death, former president of Zaire, now Democratic Republic of Congo, Mobutu Seseko of Zaire, also called for the restitution of African arts before the UN General Assembly in 1973. The African Museum in Belgium heeded to his plea and sent back 144 artifacts which surprisingly found their way back to the European market a few years after. In Nigeria, the Edo state government and the Benin Royal Court are planning to build the museum in Benin for the treasures that were looted during the punitive expedition in 1897. Quoting the state governor Godwin Obaseki, these works are our ambassadors. They represent who we are. The jury is still on whether the artifacts should be returned to their original homes or not. But wherever the pendulum of the debate swings, it is only fair and just for these priceless pieces to return to their original homes.